Five, four, three, two, one. It is Mitchell the Sun. I never cease to wonder at its enormous energy. With the solar generator, Professor, you have captured a little of that energy. Yes, yeah, yeah, but uh, this is only the first stage. Tonight, we will generate electricity for one small town. And if this is successful, we will supply the whole valley. And then, who knows, perhaps the whole world. Start the tracking program. Center on the heat exchange. Zero three. Zero two. Center. Lady? Yes, Parker. These cases are ready. You may take them down to the car. Will this be all, Belady? Yes, I think so. Um, there are one or two other knickknacks, but I'll bring those down myself. I just hope I don't forget anything. Oh, Parker. Yes, Belady. Now, I want you to consider the next few days as a holiday for you as much as for me. Please feel free to discard your uniform, something a little more casual, perhaps. Very good, Belady. And I want to be ready to leave in ten minutes. Oh dear, it's raining again. But we must make a start. Where are you, Parker? Right here, Belady. Parker? You took me at my word. I hope the inclement weather doesn't spoil your outfit. Oh, I, I understand. The sun always shines in Bodgy Blanco. To 
Tonight, the hotel will be full to the roof. Visitors, all they bring is more work. They come for the celebrations. Tomorrow, our little town will be famous. The first in the world to be lit by electricity from a solar station. It is against nature. It will be a great disaster. What do you say? The sun will take its revenge. It will be a great disaster. Idiot! Get back to work! Stupido. <laughs> what can go wrong? What's the temperature? Yes, sir. Keep it below 1,000 degrees absolute. Make sure the cyclonic generators do not break circuit. Right, Professor. We don't want to disappoint all the visitors tonight. I'm beginning to catch the holiday mood. A little music, I think, Parker. Very good, Belady. a great deal of interference. Oh, uh, I'll attempt to rectify it. Mm. The interference seems to be general. It's probably the mountains. We're very near them now. Penny enjoys her vacation. So do I, Mr. Tracy. Have you had a chance to evaluate the solar generator at Monte Bianco Brains? I've studied the basic principles, Mr. Tracy, but I sure wish I was with Penelope to get a first-hand look at the project. Professor Lundgren seems to have solved the problem of storing electricity on a commercial scale. Right. The cyclonic battery is a real step forward. Take sunlight, concentrate it into a beam of intense heat, then use this to generate power. It's a great breakthrough. Uh, the idea's old enough, but the professor has licked the technological problems. Oh, I just wish I was there to see it. Is the output voltage high enough? Yes, sir. We can maintain 150,000 kilowatts for about 20 hours. Good. Are the cyclonic regulators checked? Yes, Professor. We're ready for switch on as soon as it's dark. That could be earlier than we thought. Did you notice those clouds building up? I think we are in for a storm. Oh, signorina Penelope, I feel ashamed to welcome you to this. Don't fetch, Senor Fettini. It is terrible. We never rain here for four months. Don't worry. The English are always prepared for rain. What are you staring at? Get their bags inside. Tonight we celebrate in the fancy dress. Now I'll show you to your room, the best in the hotel. Thank you, Signor Facini. This way, if you please. You'd better change, Signor, before you flood the hotel. <coughs> you look very fine, Signor, but where is Signorina Penelope? Ah, here she is. Ah, 
bellissima. I must say, Parker, you look quite dashing. Oh, thank you, Belady. That costume of yours is a bit of a knockout. Why, thank you, Parker. I'll take that as a most gracious compliment. Signore, may I have your attention? I am proud to welcome you to Monte Bianco for this great event. Tonight, our town will become the first to be lit by power generated direct from the sun. I find it quite exciting, Buck. Me too, Belady. Ah, please to be quiet. It is nearly time. Twenty seconds to go, sir. That's stand by. Dieci, nove, otto, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Activate. Bravo! Magnifico! Salute. Uh, oh, yes, uh, uh, good health, Belide. moment we have worked for, Mitchell. Yes, sir. The storm's really building up. The forecast was light rain, so much for the weather satellite. I've heard of these freak storms, they can get pretty violent. Wind it around the fork, Parker. Bravo. You'll soon master it. It is not to worry, signore, signore. The storm will soon pass. Musica, musica. <laughs> It will be a great disaster. The tower's been hit. Let's hope the conductor can take it. Doctor must have blown. Check the primary circuits. The reflector is attracting the lightning like a magnet. If the storm doesn't abate, we are in real trouble. I think the tower is starting to crack. <laughs> I said, cut the power. What's wrong? What happened to the lights? Hey. <laughs> signore, signore, please, be calm. We will light the candles. Something must be wrong. Is it serious, Belady? I don't know, Parker. Switch to the emergency lighting. Right, sir. Can't take much more of this. The tower will collapse. I'm going up there. No, Professor.
It will be a great disaster. happened to the defector? It's lodged about halfway down the mountainside, but it still looks in one piece. I'll help you inside, sir. The storm. She is passing. Giant mirror. It's reflecting the moonlight down onto the town. Oh, oh, bellissima. We will go outside. The storm must pass. The night she is very warm. The party will begin again. Well, my lady. Things have a strange way of turning out for the best. It certainly gives a nice night. Almost like day. Yes, Parker. Almost like day. Psst, signorina. Il sole vengo domani sarò una disastre. What do you do here, Bruno? Get back to work. Oh, scusa, signorina, he's soft in the air. It's all right. He meant no harm. But what did he say, belady? Well, he said when the sun rises tomorrow, it will be a great disaster. And I think he may be right. Parker, I must contact Jeff. Find the old man and make sure he talks to no one. And make sure no one leaves. We may need every pair of hands we can get. Every pair of hands? But, belady, I... It's funny. She's good. Calling International Rescue. International Rescue. Come in, please. Hmm. It must be the storm and the mountains. I can't make contact. Now, let me think. Somewhere free from interference. Yes, of course. elephants, but a pink Rolls Royce out of the sea, driven by Marie Antoinette, is ridiculous. Good. This should be far enough. Oh, 
calling International Rescue. International Rescue. Come in, please. Come in, Penny. I'm calling from Monte Bianco. We're going to need you, Jeff, and quickly. Go on, Penny. There's been an accident. Anyone hurt? Fortunately, no. The reflector from the solar station crashed on the mountain during a storm. Gee, that thing must weigh 400 tons. What's the damage to the town? That's just the point, Jeff. The reflector jammed about halfway down the mountainside, but at such an angle that tomorrow the sun will be concentrated down onto the town. I get the picture. It'll be like holding a giant burning glass over the town. As the sun moves, it'll sweep across Monte Bianco, burning everything in its path. Exactly, Jeff. And hurry. You'll be racing against the sun. Right, Penny. We're on our way. Thunderbird 1 will be underway in 30 seconds. Boys? Thunderbird 2 will be right behind him. Better go with them, Brains. This is going to be a tricky one. Right, Mr. Tracy. I'll contact you en route and we'll try to work something out. rescue from Thunderbird 1. Changing to horizontal flight. Jeff, what's wrong? I don't know, Mother. I've just got a feeling about this assignment. National Rescue are on their way, Parker. I, I don't quite follow, Belady. Who is in danger? By this hotel. The whole town. It'll be burnt to a cinder unless we can move the reflector before the sun comes out tomorrow. 
Oh, of course. The sun. Now I understand. I'm going to change, then drive up to the solar station. Very good, belady. Now I'm relying on you, Parker, to keep the guests in the hotel. Now, how could I do that? Bruno, a word in your ear hole. Si, senor. Now, now look here. Tomorrow morning, we could be in trouble. Savvy? It will be a great disaster. Yeah, all right, all right. Look, but you don't want that to happen, do you? No, senor. Good. Then you can help me. The people must be kept here in case they're needed to fight the fire. Fire? Well, if the guests thought they were in danger, they would panic to leave. Exactly. That's why tomorrow morning, we must keep them occupied. How do we do that, senor? Take their mind off things. Get them to play a little game. How do you feel, Professor? I'm all right, my dear. He was very lucky. I'm sorry we meet again under such tragic circumstances. What time does the sun rise? At 6.03. I've done some calculations. The sun will not be high enough to do much damage till about 6.30. But after that, it's frightening to think about. Hmm. It's now 5.13. That gives us just under an hour to sunrise. <laughs> What a wonderful sunset, Jack. It holds no pleasure for me just now, as the sun sets here. On the other side of the world, it'll rise on sleeping Monte Bianco. Thunderbird 1 to Thunderbird 2. ETA, Montebianco, 5.49, level time. FAB, Scott. We're about 20 minutes behind you. Have you been able to contact the solar station? We're sorry, Brains. The residual static is really heavy. I'd sure like to get an idea of a problem. Well, I can use the radio camera. I'll send you a few shots as soon as I can. FAB. <laughs> The IF stage is gone, the oscillators are burnt out. The lightning's ruined the radio. Isn't there anything we can do other than sit here and watch the town burn up? Well, there's no point in me staying here. Now, Mitchell, we'd better get the professor to hospital. He needs treatment. I called International Rescue before I left the hotel. They'll take care of everything. Bruno, that seems adequate. Go wake them. Wake them up, senor? They didn't get to bed till three. We've got to get them into the game before they realize the danger. Go and wake them up. Bruno? Si, senor. Start with the manager. I'll need him to assist me. Oh, si, senor. Si, 
Monsignor. I'm over Monte Bianco now. I'm going down for a close look. Senor. Wake up, Senor. Senor Faccini. It is time to get up. What is... What, what does he want? Lord Parker wants you downstairs. Oh. oh it is six o'clock, Bruno. Go away, you stupid. Oh. Uh, who you say? Lord Parker, Senor. I'll go around again and take a couple of shots. How does it look, Scott? Well, you'll see for yourself in a moment, Brains. I'm switching camera to instantaneous transmission. Yeah, uh, thanks, Scott. It it's fine. It sure looks a tricky setup. Any ideas, Brains? Well, the rotation gear seems undamaged. We may be able to tilt the reflector up so that it faces skywards. You said it weighs 400 tons, Brains. I know. It won't be easy, but it's our only chance. Oh, oh, there you are. Your lordship, please excuse me. I did not realize. Quay understandable. I often travel incognito, as it were. Are the other guests ready to join us in our little game? Uh, si, senor. When they heard you were the English lord, they were most willing. Yeah, I thought they'd fall. Uh, <coughs> let you join in. See, si, your lordship. <coughs> Thunderbird to base. Can you hear me, Father? Base to Thunderbird 2. Just about, Virgil. But your drink one by one. We'll be over the solar station in two minutes. Now listen, Virgil. Because of the communications problem, I'm making you responsible for any necessary on-the-spot decision. Is that understood? Yes, Father. And Virgil? Be careful. I've got a feeling about this one. I will, Father. There it is. There's the sun. We'll have to work fast. Assuming hover position. You'll have to lower me down to get a real close look. It's not your job, Brains. I'll go. I need to see it at close quarters. I'll radio a full description. It's not the same. Stop arguing, you two. Every minute counts. Well, I guess it's your decision, Virgil. All right, Brains, it's your assignment. But don't take any chances. Gee, thanks, Virgil. Well, you better get ready. Go and help, Alan. Yes, Virgil. We're gonna lower Brains down to take a look, Scott. Well, I'll stick around in case I can help. Okay, Scott. Are you ready, Brains? Ready. Okay, Brains. Now remember, don't look down too much. It's a long drop. Starting winch. Right. I'll hold her steady. Okay, Brains. Yeah, I'm fine. I just took off the harness. It was so clumsy. 
I said don't take chances, Brains. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I hope. <laughs> Hurry up, Brains. Time's running out. Okay. I'm going to climb up to the rim. Be careful, Brains. Open number three hatch, Virgil. Right. It doesn't pay out until he's checked your card. It's in position. Activate magnetic clamp. Get down out of there, Brains. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm getting mighty hot inside this suit. Okay, Alan. Brains is clear. I'm taking her up. Well, it's not moving. Increasing power. It's still not shifting, Virgil. I'm going all the way. Full thrust. It's no good. The reflector's too heavy. We can't move it, Brains. The rotation gear must be jammed. Now send down the laser unit, Alan. Right. Things are really otted up now. Number one, give him the gun. I've located the trouble. The gear's jammed. It'll take me a couple of minutes to cut through. I don't think we've got a couple of minutes, Brains. The hotel's starting to smoke. Smoke? Why didn't I think of that before? Is Scott still around, Virgil? Why, yes, he is. Tell him to use the new device I fitted last week. I don't need for that, Brains. I heard you myself. Go. Well done, lady. Now we're going like a house on fire. What am I saying?
Well, how am I doing, Brains? F.A.P., Scott. I freed the rotation gear. It should be okay now. We'll start the lift as soon as you're clear. Okay, boys, take her up. I think it's beginning to move. There's been an accident. Brains has fallen. Can you assist? Sure, Virgil. I'll go down and see what I can do. Are we just gonna sit here? Steady, Alan. Scott's doing everything possible. I saw him fall. He must have been killed. Don't worry, boys. I I'm fine. It, it was only the suit. I took it off. It was so awkward. What a relief. We thought... Now listen, Brains. You get back in that safety harness and that's an order. Yes, sir. And are you certain Brains is okay? Yes, Father. He's right here beside me. Well, I don't mind telling you I'm glad this one's over. I had a feeling something might go wrong. Uh, don't worry, Mr. Tracy. Well, we handled the situation. Yes, Father. We'll be home for breakfast. Breakfast? It's 2 a.m. here. I'm going to bed. Bedtime at home? Breakfast time in Monte Bianco? Sometimes even I get confused. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lord Parker, I think you owe me an explanation. Well, I... I thought the guests would be more inclined to take orders from an English lord, as it were. I anticipated you would not mind. All right, Parker. In the circumstances, we'll forget it. But tell me, what game so engrossed them that they didn't notice the danger? A game very popular in my youth, as I remember. Bingo. Bingo? You'll have to instruct me sometime. Very well, belady. And now I suggest we try the beach. Why don't you go and change, Lord Parker? The sun is shining. I anticipated you again, my lady. If you'll pardon the liberty. Bingo! <laughs> <laughs> 